Hello and welcome to the final lessons in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and Web VBA with the Jeffrey Society Service Academy. Please, if you are meeting me for the first time, my name is Foster. I'm the founder and the CEO of the Jeffrey Society Service Academy on YouTube. Please, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to protect the sheets inside our school management system. We are going to learn how to put password on the various worksheets that we have inside our school management system so that nobody can be able to edit or tamper with the data that we are going to enter into the system so we are going to use a unique password to do that so if you are new to the channel please make sure that you subscribe to the channel make sure that you turn on the notification bell icon for all make sure that you subscribe to the channel share these videos with your friends we have videos on this channel on how to create a school management system using microsoft excel and web vba from lesson one to lesson 70 so this is the final lesson on how to create a school management system using microsoft excel vba and word so make sure that you watch the video from the beginning to the end as we dive straight into this very important lesson this is one of the important aspects of this particular training so without wasting much time let's just get started and to look at how we can be able to protect the sheets that we have in our school management system so that the system can be safe for use all right so let's quickly open the school management system folder so when we open the folder we have to use the already existing school management system file so let's just double tap on the already existing school management system file then we open it we have the interface here like this so this is the home page this is the home page of the school management system as it stands now anybody at all can edit the contents of this particular home page so somebody can just click on it like this and take away the c like that and replace it with a different thing so we have to lock it we have to lock it so that nobody can be able to edit the contents of this particular home page so what we are going to do is that we are going to come to the bottom here then we right click on the home then we come to protect sheet let's come to protect sheet so we have to enter the password here the password that can help us to protect this particular sheet so please make sure that the password that you are going to use to protect this particular home page or this particular sheet you write it down somewhere make sure that you write it down somewhere or you keep it in mind so this is the simple password that i'm going to use i'm not going to waste time on this particular thing so let me just enter my password one two three four that is the password that i'm going to use so after you are done with that one you only click on ok then you have to re-enter the password again so the password was one two three four like that so you click on ok good so we are done with the home page now let me try to edit a particular content here and let's see what is going to happen so please have you seen that i cannot edit anything here i cannot edit anything here because that particular sheet the home page is protected with a password let's come to this side too please have you seen that i cannot change anything so this is what we want to do to this system here now let's go to the about page the about page we can leave it for now we can leave it for now because we are here to write a description of the system here okay let's just protect it so if you want to protect it you make sure that you insert a nice description here make sure that you insert a catchy description here before you protect it so let's come to protect sheet then we repeat the same password please make sure that you use the same password throughout so one two three four then we press enter one two three four press enter so this about page is also protected so let me try to edit something here let's see so have you seen that you cannot change anything here because the sheet is protected now let's come to the student details here the student details so we want to protect this particular sheet too so as i said earlier you right click then you select protect sheet 
then you enter the password that you want to use to protect the sheets so i am using one two three four as my password for the sake of this lesson so we, we are moving to the next sheet but before we move to the teacher's details sheet here let's just try to edit something here so please have you seen that we cannot edit anything here so let's just click on okay then we go to the teacher's details sheet like that sorry so let's come to the bottom here right click on it select protect sheet enter your password one two three four press enter re-enter your password one two three four press enter then you are good to go so students emis table let's right click on it select protect sheet then the password one two three four like that you press enter re-enter one two three four press enter so that sheet is also protected so let's just try to edit something there because the reason that you cannot edit anything there unless you remove the password before you can be able to edit the content of that particular sheet Let's come to the teachers emis data table like this right click then you select protect sheet then the password one two three four like this press enter one two three four press enter we are done with that one too like job like play so we are coming to the fees payment table here so you right click select protect sheet your password one two three four press enter one two three four like that so let's just try to edit the content here so i've seen that we cannot change anything here so whenever we give this system to people to use they cannot edit the contents of this particular system so that is what we are learning now so your password you re-enter one two three four like that then okay there is a problem there there is a problem there's one two three four like that then we re-enter again one two three four then we are good to go so if we try to edit something here it will not work unless we take away the password so fees payment receipt you right click on it here from here then protect sheet you enter your password one two three four enter one two three four we are good to go so let's move to the next sheet so we are moving to the students emis information sheet there so password one two three four one two three four again then we are good to go so we cannot change anything here too wow this is interesting so let's come to the teachers data for emis information sheet then we select protect sheet one two three four like that one two three four like that we are good to go so we cannot change anything there too then we are coming to the final sheet that is going to be the settings sheet here this is going to be our settings sheet so what we are going to do is that we are going to just highlight everything from the top here let's highlight everything and give it some nice background color so which color are we going to assign to this particular sheet here let's give it this color i think this one is cool so let's select the headings here and give them some background color do some necessary formatting there so we have to change it to times new roman the font style then the bold then we increase this one a little bit then we align center uh, i think it's looking good it's looking good so after everything what you need to do is to control s to save your work so let's select all like this then to center good select everything from this side to also to where to center like this so okay i think we should maintain this one yes it's not bad so control s to save your work so that is all we have come to the end of this school management system creation lesson this is the final lesson please i encourage you to go through all the lessons Just highlight make sure that you follow from lesson one from to the top here. lesson 17 Just highlight this everything. is the final lesson so our next color. project so is going to be on to how sign to create or how to design a school-based assessment system so till our next lesson thank you very much for watching these videos thank you much for starting this class with us from lesson one up to lesson 70 may god bless you 
May God strengthen you to be able to understand all these things that we went through 